R. Ganapati. I'm the president of Wilgrow. We're an incubator of social enterprises. In the last 15 years, we've supported about 125 social enterprises working in India in fields of agriculture, education, healthcare, energy. This has been my first development dialogue. I must say I've really enjoyed the experience. Neelam and the team here have been inviting me for many years and I haven't been able to come, but I'm really happy that I could make it this time. And it was very nice to hear from both global perspective as well as other incubators in India and to learn from each other. So the theme of today's uh, development dialogue has been scaling effectively. I think this is a cause that's very close to my heart. Finally, we support social enterprises at the very early stages of their journey. In the early stages when you're small, it's very easy to be effective. It's very easy to be impactful. It's very easy to make a difference to the people that you're seeking to serve. But what happens when enterprises grow is that quality begins to suffer. They begin to focus on other customer segments and the impact begins to get diluted. So it's very important for us to help social enterprises think through how they can scale, but at the same time without compromising the effectiveness of the work that they're doing. So if you're making a difference to children in schools, how can you do that when you're serving 10,000 children? How can you do that when you're serving 100,000 children? When you're working in one state or one district, that may be easy. How can you do that when you're working in 20 districts? How can you do that when you're working in 10 states? I think it's very important for entrepreneurs to think about scale and think about process to ensure that they're scaling effectively and still making a difference even when they grow. So the most uh, detailed interaction we've had with Deshpande Foundation's work is when we hosted some students from the Deshpande Foundation doing an internship with Wilgro. I was really impressed with the quality of those students. I was really impressed with the quality of training and education that they'd received, but more importantly from the grounding that they had got in the real world problems of our society. That's what I think is really special what's going on here. is not just are you beginning to inspire people to engage with our development problems, but you're giving them not only a sound theoretical and academic base, but also a very sound practical exposure. These people are going to go on and make a big difference. They're going to start their own enterprises. They're going to work with other enterprises. They're going to go into government and policy. They're really going to make a difference. So I think what the Deshpande Foundation has been doing here, based on my limited exposure, has been truly fantastic. So when I first received the invitation to be a member of this panel at Development Dialogue, I jumped at the opportunity. And the reason is that I feel like there should be 100, 200 organizations like this doing the sort of work that we do. But those organizations must avoid the mistakes that we've made in the last 15 years. How can that happen? That can only happen if we came out, we spoke about our lessons, we spoke about our mistakes. And there's no forum like this because this is truly the Kumbh Mela that brings together everybody in the development sector. And in one one and a half hour session, I've been able to connect with and share my message with so many people that I feel like it will go a long way in helping people avoid the mistakes and learn from the lessons that we've had. That was the power of development dialogue. That's why I jumped at it. That's why, you know, I took that night train yesterday from Bangalore to come here and share my views with everybody here so that they can avoid the mistakes that we made. So what I've been fascinated by is the comprehensiveness of the program of anybody attending development dialogue there are field visits there's a lot of exposure that's had i'm sorry this time i could not attend all of those sessions i think the next time i want to make sure that i'm here for the entire duration so that i can get the full experience because what you've put together is a very unique program it's very different from the normal conferences that one goes to it's very different in terms of the types of conversations the types of people the types of exposure most of the conversations in big cities are a lot of talk and very little action Whereas here we get an opportunity to see real action and I missed that this year. I want to make sure I won't miss it next year. The key takeaway I think has been that the Deshpande Foundation has been able to assemble people from every spectrum of the development landscape, starting from the foundations, starting from the government, starting from the H&Is who want to use their money for social good, all the way down to the grassroots entrepreneurs who are starting small enterprises using innovation to make a difference. And everybody in between is here at this one event. So that's what's really unique, powerful and different. Oftentimes you find very focused conferences that focused on one segment of the development spectrum. Very rarely do you find the entire spectrum in one place. And that's what's unique about DD. I think the one word I'll use is effective. It's a very effective tool by which development can be furthered in this country. Mm -hmm.